All right. So thank you very much, Tita, for volunteering. And um, let's see where this goes. Did you say you'd been to the doctor or not with this? Yes, you did. You I said did. they would give you an operation. Yeah. And it possibly December, you said. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. So what I'd like to do is I want you to always at every point within this session to keep yourself safe. Yeah. So no pushing it, no trying to impress me and think, oh, I'll go a bit further. Just to... <laughs> None of that, yeah? Because uh, I want to keep you very safe and I, I want to make sure that you don't hurt yourself at any level, yeah? Mm -hmm. And you are the only person who knows the level of pain or whatever you're experiencing. So when I ask you to move and demonstrate it, please only take to the edge of what you're experiencing, yeah? Mm -hmm. And if you need to take it down, let me know and just do that, yeah? Because about you keeping yourself safe in this session. Are you okay with that instruction? Yeah. All right. I also said earlier on, and I think it's important to say, I don't know what will happen when we do this, you know, because I've never worked in this way with you. I never worked on this issue. So I don't know what will happen, but is that okay with you? You know, let's just see what happens. Yeah, totally fine. Uh, like true scientists. <laughs> <laughs> I do think of myself as a bit of a scientist, you know, so I do have a degree in chemistry, so I do like to do it scientifically. Oh, okay. <laughs> we'll do it that way, the real the real way science works. So we do the experiment, see what happens. So you're fine with that, yeah? All right. Now, what I would ask you is, I want you to show us how you know you have this problem. So just show us how you know it's there. Mm -hmm. Um. I'll show you by moving my right arm. Yeah. The one that doesn't hurt, it doesn't yeah. have a problem. And then I show you my left arm. Yeah. All right. So it's just above. So I'd, I'd say that that's 90, yes. 95 degrees yeah. from the side. I'll bring it down. Yeah. yeah. All right. And when you do that, what's letting you know that you have that problem? What are you experiencing when you do that? It starts hurting and it actually feels like I just can't move it any higher. It right. like, it, like it locks in. It, All right. It sort of like, it, yeah, it just doesn't go any further and it starts hurting as well. All right. Where precisely is it locking in and hurting? The hurting is here. Yeah. Like in, in the shoulder joint, right. Is it right in the right shoulder joint, am I right? Left. Left, yeah, I'm very bad at left and right. <laughs> <laughs> left shoulder joint. <laughs> so it's in the left shoulder joint. What kind of pain is there? It it feels hot immediately. A hot pain, yeah. Hot pain, and it starts pulsing. Hot pulsing pain. Yeah. yeah. All right. And um, you said the lock, I, I can go to the locked in feeling. I will assess it right now as well. So the locked in feeling, where do you feel that? That's further. It's like like on, on top of my shoulder. Top of your left shoulder? Left shoulder. Yeah. And what kind of sensation? Would you just call it a locked in feeling? What would you call it? Oh, well. I can't describe it any better because it, it actually feels like there's something like meeting and it just won't go any further, even though there's nothing there. It's it's not like like a real join, not moving one way or the other. Yeah. But it's like it goes tense yeah. and won't move. All right. That's fine. Yeah. All right. So I, I'm going to start. I mean, this is a choice. I can start either place. Yeah. I'm going to start here on this point and choose to just to start there because I'm always curious, you see, <laughs> as to what will happen. So we'll start on this one and we'll see what happens. Yeah. All right. Now we go. And um, you called it um, hot pulsing pain in the left shoulder joint. Yeah. All right. And I'll get an intensity rating. So if you just take up again and check how intense that feeling is when you get there. Mm -hmm. If I don't like this is where I would start forcing it. Yeah. And if, if I don't do that, it's about a six. Yeah. And I'll bring your arm down and, and probably I should check this as well. You know, when we're doing anything, there's a feedback in a session. Yeah. And there's feedback external. So I'm assuming that that problem is 100% there all of the time if you were to go to move. 
Am I right with that? Yeah. So we're dealing with a hundred percent there. All right. And I'm assuming at no point has that improved. Uh, uh, ask that question again. What, what, the at any line... point, has, yeah. At any point, has it gone? The problem. No. So it's no. there. It's, it's always, always there. there. Yeah. yeah. And how long did you say it's been there for? Around about four years. Four years, yeah. And I mean, I could also say, and how does it impact you outside of here? Mm -hmm. What ways does this impact you? Um. There is times when it's worse and then there's time when it's when it's not as severe. But I have had times when I have not been able to sleep because I could not lie on this shoulder, but I couldn't lie on the other one either because I just could not find a way to rest my left shoulder without it hurting. <clears throat> and I think but I have not taken anything out of the upper cabinets in the kitchen with my left arm for three years <laughs> all right so what we're looking at you can't reach up to the upper cabinets in the kitchen all right and what you also said is now i'll just refine this there are times when i can't sleep yeah how frequently would you say that is um it's not as frequently anymore because once I stopped using my left arm, it got better <laughs> um, because I, I, well, yeah, because yeah. I just refrained from doing things that hurt. Mm -hmm. uh, but it is round about one once a month, like for right. yeah. three to four days, nights. So it happens over three or four days, <laughs> and this occurs about once a month. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's so what we're looking at is because you know we'd want to make sure it improves externally to the session and internally to the session so multiple ways of getting feedback there yeah all right so if you're open for just working with it a little bit and seeing what happens that would be great so what i'm going to do is go back to what you originally said which was a pul hot pulsing pain in the left shoulder joint yeah so tap with me on this all right, and just say the words, even though, even though I have this hot pulsing pain, I have this hot pulsing pain in my left shoulder joint, in my left shoulder joint, I accept, I feel that, mm -hmm. I accept, I feel that. So even though, so even though I have this hot pulsing pain, I have this hot pulsing pain in my left shoulder joint, in my left shoulder joint. I accept I have that. I accept I have that. So even though. So even though. I have this hot pulsing pain. I have this hot pulsing pain. It's in my left shoulder joint. It's in my left shoulder joint. I accept I have that. I accept that I have that. On the eyebrow, the hot pulsing pain. Hot pulsing pain. Side of the eye on my left shoulder joint. My left shoulder joint. Under the eye, the hot pulsing pain. The hot pulsing pain. Under the nose, on the left shoulder joint. My left shoulder joint. On the chin, the hot pulsing pain. Hot pulsing pain. On the collarbone, left shoulder joint. Left shoulder joint. Under the arm, the hot pulsing pain. Hot pulsing pain. Breathe in. Breathe out. Keeping yourself safe, move your arm and see what happens now. It's okay wherever, by the way. Yeah, it was a bit straighter before when you did it. Yeah? Mm -hmm. All right. And when you do that, what are you now experiencing? I've still got that locked feeling here. Mm -hmm. And now it's starting to hurt, but it wasn't immediate. All right. So usually, yeah. usually when I lift it, it hurts immediately. And now you, you saw me like yeah. waiting, thinking, and it took like a couple of seconds for it to right. and it started like on a three and now it like accelerated yeah all right and so and what sensation was I, I i'm just curious if we went to the locked piece for a minute we can come back to the other one in a minute yeah. Yeah. <laughs> go to the locked piece and, it, and it's a choice but i'm, I'm kind of curious what what would it, 
what would this be? We could easily just stay where we are. Yeah. 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 Or we could go here, you know. So let, let's just have a play with this and let's go yeah. here. Yeah, so go to that feeling, which is uh, top of the left shoulder. Is it still a locked in feeling? Yeah. Well, it was when I when I lifted my arm. Yeah, that was the first. Usually it's pain and then the locked feeling. And then yeah. I was waiting for the pain, but it didn't come. It was the locked feeling that stopped my movement. The locked feeling. Yeah. And you, you call it the top of the left shoulder. Uh, is it on or in the left shoulder? In. In, yeah. All right, I, I, we may or may not use that, but so we call it the locked feet. So even though I have this locked feeling. Even though I have this locked feeling. In the top of my left shoulder. In the top of my left shoulder. I accept I feel that. I accept that I feel that. So even though I have this locked feeling. So even though I have this locked feeling. In the top of my left shoulder. In the top of my left shoulder. I accept I feel this. I accept I feel this. So even though I have this locked feeling. So even though I have this locked feeling. Top of my left shoulder. Top of my left shoulder. On the eyebrow, the locked feeling. The locked feeling. That is the eye in the top of my left shoulder. Top of my left shoulder. Under the eye, this locked feeling. This locked feeling. Under the nose, in the top of my left shoulder. The top of my left shoulder. And the chin, the locked feeling. The locked feeling. And the collarbone, top of my left shoulder. Top of my left shoulder. Under the arm, the locked feeling. The locked feeling. Breathe in. Breathe out. And keeping yourself safe, see what happens now when you move it. Oh, it clicked really loudly just then. Mm -hmm. And now it's starting to hurt, <laughs> which, is funny. <laughs> which is funny because now I expected the locked feeling to stop me and it didn't come. But the pain started, but my arm was higher up. Yeah, yeah. And it's yeah. like been in ages and it clicked oh. really loudly. I'm, I'm surprised you didn't hear it. Well, that I was, didn't, but it's not surprising. That was quite that impressive. Re, yeah, a restructuring of the zone by your body. <laughs> 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 All right. Uh, keeping yourself safe, what type of pain did you experience there and what was the location of it? It was the same, it was the same, same um, pain as before. P pulsing pain? Yeah. All right, where was the precise location of the hot pulsing pain? I'm not sure. I was so surprised that I... <laughs> well, I'm going to be really mean now, Tita. I'm going to ask you, now be aware that we don't want to push into the pain, yeah? So keeping yourself safe, just take to the edge and check what it was, yeah? Okay, okay. It's it's still on the it's it's further to the back. Yeah. It's like the same. It's it's still here, but it's not here anymore. But like round to the back a little bit. So that's your left shoulder, yeah. Yeah. At the back of your left shoulder, would you say? Yeah. And it's a heart pulsing pain. Yeah. All right, we go for that. So even though. So even though I have this hot pulsing pain. I have this hot pulsing pain. At the back of my left shoulder. The back of my left shoulder. I accept I feel this. I accept I feel this. So even though I have this hot pulsing pain. So even though I have this hot pulsing pain. At the back of my left shoulder. At the back of my left shoulder. I accept I feel this. I accept I feel this. So even though I have this hot pulsing pain. So even though I have this hot pulsing pain at the back of my left shoulder, at the back of my left shoulder, I accept I feel this. What's I accept going on? I feel this. What's it's, happening there? It's, not, it's um, my shoulder is feeling very cold now. All right. Yeah. So it's changed to cold. It's changed to cold. Yes. All right. This cold feeling in my left shoulder. This cold feeling in my left shoulder. On the eyebrow, the cold feeling in my left shoulder. The 
cold feeling in my left shoulder. Side of the eye, this cold feeling in my left shoulder. This cold feeling in my left shoulder. Under the eye, the cold feeling in my left shoulder. Cold feeling in my left shoulder. Under the nose, this cold feeling in my left shoulder. Cold feeling in my left shoulder. On the chin, the cold feeling in my left shoulder. Cold feeling in my left shoulder. Collarbone, the cold feeling in my left shoulder. Cold feeling in my left shoulder. Under the arm, the cold feeling in my left shoulder. Cold feeling in my left shoulder. Breathe in. Breathe out. And now just check in, because I think you were not actually moving when it felt cold. Yeah? Yeah. How, how does it now feel? It's, 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 it feels like, like someone's putting their very cold hand at the back of my shoulder it's it's the area is larger now it's like about the size of the hand it's like All someone right. putting their hand there yeah tap with me so even though it feels like someone's putting the cold hand at the back of my shoulder my left shoulder mm -hmm. so even though it feels like a cold hand on the back of my shoulder yeah i accept i feel that i accept i feel that so even though so even though it feels as if someone's putting a cold hand at the back of my left shoulder. It feels like someone's putting a cold hand on the back of my shoulder. Yeah, I accept I feel that. I accept I feel that. So even though. So even though. It feels as if someone's putting a cold hand at the back of my left shoulder. It feels like someone's putting a cold hand on the back of my shoulder. I accept I feel that. I accept I feel that. On the eyebrow. This cold hand on the back of my left shoulder. This cold hand on the back of my shoulder. That of the eye, the cold hand on the back of my left shoulder. Cold hand on the back of my shoulder. Under the arm, the cold hand on the back of the shoulder. Cold hand on the back of my shoulder. Under the nose, the cold hand at the back of the shoulder. Cold hand on the back of my shoulder. On the chin, this cold hand on the back of my shoulder. This cold hand on the back of my shoulder. Collarbone, the cold hand on the back of the shoulder. Cold hand on the back of my shoulder. And under the arm, the cold hand on the back of the shoulder. This cold hand on the back of my shoulder. Breathe in. Breathe out. And now just check with your arm about movement and keep yourself safe. Still waiting for the pain. Yeah. And now it's starting, but not in my shoulder, but it's in my elbow, mm. my left elbow. Yeah. So bring the yeah. arm down. What kind of pain is that in your left elbow? It's like, it's like pulling, like it's pulling, like, pain. yeah, a pulling pain. All right, it's up with me. So even though I have this pulling pain. Even though I have this pulling pain. In my left elbow. In my left elbow. I accept I feel that. I accept I feel that. So even though I have this pulling pain. So even though I have this pulling pain. It's in my left elbow. My left elbow. I accept I feel that. I accept I feel that. So even though I have this pulling pain. So even though I have this pulling pain. In my left elbow. In my left elbow. I accept I feel that. I accept I feel that. On the eyebrow, this pulling pain. This pulling pain. Side of the eye in my left elbow. In my left elbow. Under the eye, the pulling pain. The pulling pain. Under the nose in my left elbow. My left elbow. On the chin, this pulling pain. This pulling pain. Collarbone in my left elbow. In my left elbow. Under the arm, the pulling pain. The pulling pain. Breathe in and breathe out. And I am, yeah, just check. I what because I didn't ask earlier on, is the cold hand feeling on your back still there or has that gone? <clears throat> now you ask, maybe like that's maybe a point five or a one. Yeah. All right, so almost almost gone. It's not strong anymore. Yeah, so there's still a little bit of that there. And that if you then check with your arm, keep yourself safe and move your arm up. Let's see where we are with that.
This is, I have not been able to do this for four years and my elbow is not hurting either. Not and, it. Huh? and I haven't got a locked feeling either. Can you, can you see that? I can probably move it higher up than my right arm now. Well, bring it down and then show us the other arm. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> You've got a problem over there. <laughs> You know, if I had the time, I'd go to the other arm and, and uh, balance them up. Wow. <laughs> yeah, but I will finish at this point if that's okay. There's more to do. <laughs> We've got balanced shoulders, really. Yeah. Wow. And, and but right now at this moment, was there any pain when you got up here with this? Anything? No. no All right. No, no. All right. So at this moment you're not experiencing that but there are other motions what we know is this arm isn't where it needs to be yeah yeah and we might you what you might do is make sure find out what's restricting mm -hmm. this arm because there should be balance across mm -hmm. yeah? mm -hmm. health and well-being balance across but also what i would say is the arms equally so get the one that's supposed to be the healthy arm and see if you can bring it up your back just check on mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. yeah all right, because we've also got that rotation. With the other arm, be very careful and see what happens when you bring that one up the back, just to be see if there's something you maybe not pay, paid attention to. That's not hurting. It, it feels a little tense, but just yes. like muscular tense. All right. So what I would say is that muscular tense is something you would tune in and tap. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, so that you get full rotation of mm -hmm. this joint here and this joint here so it's about balancing off now yeah yeah uh, to get them so they're very even and the same yeah uh, but what i would say is so we'll finish the session if this is okay with you and i would suggest now tita that you make another appointment with my secretary so we can work further <laughs> yes that's how i would finish the session yeah all right uh because we're looking at 100 percent result mm -hmm. Thank you so, so much. Well, thank you for volunteering, Tita. It's an absolute pleasure working with you there. Um <laughs>